In an advanced world where there seems to be a solution for everything, there are very few occasions when a product makes you think twice and question why has this not been done before. In this instance, I'm referring to the Hisense Sound Tab, a combination of speakers and Android tablet. If English is not your native language, click the captions button below to view this in your preferred language option. Priced at $139.99 including VAT, it's a combination of tablet and powerful speakers to create the modern equivalent of the boombox from the 80s. Headline specifications are shown on screen now. Sitting proud of the tabletop and angled ever so slightly up, the sound tab sits on an aluminium stand that can act as a handle when you come to transport it. Within the ellipse body of the sound tab sits the 7 inch Android tablet, whilst the two 5 watt speakers sit to the left and right, protected by a matte black metal speaker grille. A gloss white plastic back cover holds the components together and gives the sound tab a modern, refined, and premium look to it. Clearly, just from looking at the pictures of the sound tab, you can see it's a little unique. This is not designed to replace your tablet, nor is it designed to replace your TV or other audiovisual equipment. It has been designed to suit the needs of a select few who see the benefit of and would like such a product. A couple of scenarios in which you might find this beneficial include when out in the garden, down the beach having a barbecue, picnic or generally relaxing. Use it to play music, watch videos and be online without the need for wires. And in the kitchen when cooking, play video recipes, music or TV shows to keep you entertained. Whilst the odd splash will be resisted, it is worth noting that this product is not IP rated and is not resistant to water. With a resolution of 1024 by 600, the 7 inch display on the sound tab is not up with the HD and Retina displays found on many mobile products, but it is most certainly functional. When off, the screen is reflective and does show marks including fingerprints. Regretfully, the touchscreen is a little slow to respond to fingertips and a bit resistive in that it can take a couple of presses on occasion to get the screen to register what you have pressed on. The more time I spent with it, the less it happened. I adapted my touch. I believe the angle of the display had a part to play. It's not a deal breaker, but is something to be aware of. Running Android version 4.4 out of the box, Hisense have made no customization to the software. You get full access to the usual Google services, some of which are pre-installed, and download your favorite apps from the Google Play Store. Out of the box, just shy of 5GB of the internal 8GB is free for you to use. Add Google accounts, Facebook, Twitter, corporate exchange accounts and more. Set different languages, manage font sizes and the screen brightness along with having different user profiles. Unlike some home screens and app drawer setups, the options for personalization are a little limited, but the basics are there. Change the wallpaper, add widgets and app shortcuts and create new home screens. If you want to be able to change the transitions and have a broader array of options, then you will need to install a different launcher. With a 1GHz dual-core processor and 1GB of RAM, lag is evident on the sound tab, which is a little disappointing. Generally speaking, for most tasks it performed okay, but it is by no means as quick or as responsive as some. When considering connectivity options, a few negatives are that it is powered by a 5 volt DC adapter rather than micro USB, there's no 3.5mm headphone or line out option, and the tablet uses Bluetooth version 2.1 and does not operate on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. On the positive side, however, there is a full HDMI port for video out, a micro USB port for connectivity to a computer and with support for USB hosting, a micro SD memory card slot supports cards up to 32 gigabytes in capacity, a 3.5 mm line in and Bluetooth connectivity means you can wirelessly stream audio to and from the sound tab. Wi-Fi ensures you remain online and works for streaming audio and other media. Included in the box is too a compact remote which actually allows you to control a lot without the need to interact with the sound tab. Offering a total output of 10 watts, a speaker located on the right and left of the display punch out a respectable sound. The sound is loud enough to drown out a boiling kettle and extractor fan in most kitchens with a bit more volume to spare if you really want to get the party started. Surprisingly, the speakers do not sound like they're straining and manage to handle most audio very well. A good balance of sound. 
Compare this to speakers found on most radios and small hi-fi systems you find in homes around the world and you will have to hand it to the sound tab. Could it do a better job? Yes. Would it cost more to achieve this? More than likely. A 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera is included. This is fine for the odd video call and not much more. The sound tab has a 3000 mAh battery which offers up to 72 hours of standby when Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are off. Smaller than many batteries found in tablets today, I found you can get somewhere between 3 to 5 hours of usable time out of this, including some screen on and some screen off time. This therefore should happily last long enough if the kids take it to the park or you want some music for the barbecue. There is no battery saving technology and in many cases this will remain plugged into the mains. The sound tab sits in a little niche on its own. Some will see little point in it, others will love it. The slight lag in everyday use and less responsive touchscreen took the edge off this unique proposition for me. But the speakers that packed a reasonable punch, the stylish design and the different options this offers with USB hosting, video out and more make this quite a desirable product for no other reason than just because. This might not be something you would buy for yourself unless you can justify the need for it. But if you're looking for an unusual gift for someone who's got everything but likes technology products, then this could be a great solution.